you had a huge year last year. How do you feel going into this year where people now have tape on you and are you going to have to adjust your game, that kind of thing? You know, as, as an athlete, you always compete every day to better your game and, and get better at what you do. So I think and as an athlete, you, you aim for success and to be the best that you possibly can. So for my game to be as great as it was last year, that's what I prepared for. And just coming into this year, I'm doing the same thing. So I think I know um, what to prepare for, what defenses are doing. So it's just me going harder and just getting much better. What do you think makes you the best running back in college football if you view yourself that way? Yeah, definitely. I view myself as, you know, the best running back and just just being the best that I can be, honestly. But um, I feel that what separates me is just my overall game on my speed, my change of direction, how I can be used everywhere on the field, uh, not only run around you, but also run through you as well. So it's just, you know, just being able to do everything at my position and so forth as other positions too. So, so Q, last year, obviously, we used you a lot as the runner. Right. There, there are things that you probably didn't – other part of being a running back, you didn't play as well. Talk about what you've improved on, whether that's pass blocking, whether that's picking up blitzes, what that might be. Yeah, um, definitely overall in my whole entire game, if you just go back and look at my freshman film and compare it to what I've done so far this year, this past fall camp, I think I've just gotten tremendously better overall. So, you know, just improving everything and the typical mistakes you make coming into college, you know, just getting better. If you think back to a year ago as a freshman going into your very first game to now, how much more comfortable do you feel and kind of what's the what's the difference and what are you trying to tell the younger guys, the freshmen in the team? Yeah, so the freshmen that are in right now, definitely trying to encourage them, you know, that it's always some things that you can improve on or even if you think you've done this certain thing the best that you possibly can, it's still things that you can do better. So I think just making sure that I continue to let them embrace how far they've come since they've gotten here and just to keep going, just keep getting better. But I think also um, just to keep inspiring them, just just be the best that they can. My answer a little bit of my question right there, but you know, you haven't already gone through this a week one team. Um, and when you have freshmen coming in with the first college game and you're not, you're facing, you know, a non SEC team and FCS opponent, is it tough to convince some of the younger guys that, you know, you need to prepare for this game just as if you would if you were playing one of the top teams in the SEC? I think that's what separates our team, you know, just going into any matchup, we don't not consider someone because of their logo on their chest or who they are and their record. I think we prepare well with Coach Kiffin. He prepares us the right way to go into each matchup, no matter who the team is or what they've done the same way and just prepare the best that we can. And Depth obviously was an issue against Alabama and then some teams last year due to injury. Now that Kiju Riscano is in, in, uh, in the running back room along with the new Jam Griffin, what are your thoughts on those two running backs uh, to adding some depth to that running back room. Yeah, we have a really large running back room right now. Um, definitely has helped the running back room with some depth, adding new guys in, you know, with like Jam coming in late as he has in the process, you know, getting him involved with the offense and trying to get him to learn everything and just really not even just those guys, but really the whole entire room, just getting those guys involved as well, just to learn the whole offense because some guys are new, so they might not know the whole package or, or what we have done this past season and going into this new year as well. With Quinchon coach was just in, Justin here kind of told us he's, he's not naming a quarterback yet. Um, has he addressed that situation with, with you guys at all? And, and how did that kind of go down? Um, as a team, he doesn't really address that with the team. That's not something that he would say in a public setting around the whole team. It's like a team meeting or anything. I think that's more inside of him and the offensive coordinators and those quarterback coaches in their room personally. So that it hasn't been anything said to us. Does not having that resolve yet change anything for you? And is that something that you as a key offensive player would rather have decided by now? Um, I think just me being so confident in each and every one of those guys, it hasn't had an effect on me in that, that way. I think just me knowing that 
no matter who's in there, they're great at what they do. Uh, they're confident in their game, and just whoever is put out there, I know they'll perform. We know about staying on the quarterbacks. We know about both their backgrounds. But since you line up next to them every day, what what are kind of the differences in their game? Yeah, so you have Jackson, who has come from a, a school like USC, who's throwing the ball. Um, he's come here and had a great season. I think he's more of a throwing quarterback. He can also run it as well, too. And then you have Walker. So Walker is like a – He's a five-star quarterback out of high school. He can throw the ball as well, too. Uh, runs a little bit. And then you have Spencer as well, who's more of a running style quarterback, but he can also sling it as well. So I think just they, they all have different styles, but they're just – is their own their own swagger to it that they bring. So I think that's what really makes them different. Thank you.